no doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent. Down. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Off the edge, Mario Addison gets the sack. Following the sack, it's now third and long for Watson and the Texans. Third and long, it's Watson. He's going to let this one go deep. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Houston. Will Fuller, 52 yards. And the Texans are in for six. The 21st pick back in the 2016 draft, Will Fuller, and we know that he can take the top off him. Of oh, this is blocked. It's picked up, a live ball hit through an opening, and there he goes. The 40, the 20, 10, and he takes it the distance across the goal line for two points. That's our ball. Every time, keep putting that ball on the ground. That's our ball. Following the botch PAT, they're set to kick this one away. This is taken at the three. Shedding through the defense. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Now a first down throw for Newton. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Give him 18. It's a Carolina first down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Newton now to throw. And now he's good. And the Panthers in for the score. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. Oh. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Gano now to add the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Just a four-play drive that time. And the final piece to the puzzle was the Cam Newton touchdown run. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. And we're back now in Charlotte. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. He oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. And the Panthers have recovered. 
And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Carolina getting set to take the field. This ball game certainly has gotten a little out of hand. This is normally when they say you got to fill. This is fill time for guys like you and I. But yeah, to, to be frank, just a dominating performance. Really impressive what we've seen. It is, and I'm glad that you went in that direction because otherwise we're going to talk about the museum tour we took yesterday. Which was awesome. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers take advantage of the turnover to put up six. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And they'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. They are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. And he will get into the end zone again. And he seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down on, right at the 20. Let's go. Now the Texans offense, they head back out to do battle here. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, because you're exactly you right. That, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Now Watson. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there, a first down. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Out of the gun, Watson. He's got Fuller. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. Watson hitting Fuller with a big one, 46 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. Second and goal from the six this time. They keep it on the ground. This time, it's Miller. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Now Watson on third and goal. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. Mario Addison picks up his second sack of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. <laughs> and that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense is going to crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. 
Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. He's going to float this over the middle. This is caught inside the 15. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. There's no doubt in my mind. Did you hear that? Do you hear the... It, it, it's not scales, right? I don't hear scales. Do I actually hear a tune I, being warbled? I think the fat lady's humming. Yeah, she's doing more than humming. She's, she's belting it out she's right going. now. She's going. She's full bore. Yeah, this thing is flat out finished. for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And Carolina scores to cap it off. And the effort snuffed out. The Texans' hands team recovers. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. He finds Hopkins complete. And he's going to get this deep on a Carolina side of the field. The Clemson connection. Watson to Hopkins for a big one. 41 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. A very good gain on first down. Nine yards on the dump off. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Here's Watson. This is caught. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown. But they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate. And oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. And this time he gets it to go as it is up and good. So that drive, four plays. And the result, a Houston touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. Shows his strength at the 50. Still going. And he's going to wind up bringing this one inside the 45-yard line. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. He's going to take a shot right away for the end. And this will be caught. We'll forget taking the knee. Some late gamesmanship here as they throw for a late touchdown. I tell you, Charles. You play to the final whistle, I get that, but there are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score late in the game with it already well in hand. You seem a little squeamish about that last I, score. I struggle with it. <laughs> I struggle. But on the other, the, the argument, I get it, on the other side is, hey, do something about it. Stop them. I guarantee you, I know who was really excited, fantasy owners yeah. who had them. Hey, listen, get the points from me. They're not worried about hurt feelings or anything like that. That's just new age stuff. The extra point up and good, but this one was decided anyway, as that will be the final action in this ball game. So we had action to the very end of this one, the score on the final play that they didn't need to have. They didn't just run out the clock, though. They added to their final total. Played it all the way to the end, and you know some coaches preach that and tell their teams, that's what I want all the time, and they feel like if they don't do it themselves, they're not living up to the message that they're sending out.